Hi everyone, welcome to another video for Philips Take On DDS CAD. Renewable energy such as solar energy is becoming more and more important. In this video, I will show you nice features offered by DDS CAD for a click designing of roof PV mounting systems. Before viewing the video, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and so hit the bell to be notified of new videos. Enjoy! I will start designing by inserting PV panels on the roof. The PV panels on DDS CAD are fully parametric, so you can uh, create the PV model uh, you wish. In this case, I'll select this size and I'll click OK. In the placement reference, I will set on roof and I will insert a distance offset of 10 centimeters. In the angle to plane field, we can insert, I will insert a 24 degrees uh, tilt angle and I will click OK. I won't insert the PV panel individually. Instead, I will insert as a group by placing symmetrical on a surface and I will define the surface from the bottom left to half of this wind turbine. As we can see, DDS CAD insert the maximum PV panels for this area. Uh, at this stage, it's good. So I'll click OK and see the result in 3D. Uh, we see that we have a row clashing with the wind turbines and also the first row is quite close to the raised edge. So, before we change anything, I will make a sunlight uh, analysis. So, I have previously defined the, the project location as Amsterdam and I will make the sunlight analysis at the end of the sunniest period in Europe, which is October 21st. Then I will select the Render Mode, Render Line and Shadow. Now that we can see that we have shadows in all the rows, I will add this group and make, uh, for instance, in the X parameter, I will insert an offset of one meter. In the Y uh, parameter, I will insert 0.7. And in the delta Y, which is the distance in the, in the rows, I will insert a distance of 0.8. We see in the background that DDS CAD has, been, uh, has already added my group. And the last row is not clashing with the wind turbine anymore, but we only have three uh, rows and we have a total of 30 PV panels. This is good for me. So let's see the result. Now we see there is no more shadows in the PV panels. To end this modeling though, I will insert mountain racks beneath the PV panels. To do so, I will come to the function PV mounting system. And here we have different types of mounting systems. I will use this mounting rack. This uh, mounting rack is also editable, so we can change the angle and the parameter A and B to be according to the PV panel we are using. As with the PV panel, in the placement reference, I will set on roof and I will have a distance offset of 10 centimeters. We see that the mounting of this mountain rack is in a, on the middle. This is something that uh, will be important uh, later. So to insert the mountain rack below the, the PV panel row, I will use this option of place symmetrical on a, on a line and I will define the line from the bottom right to the end of the row like this. The delta X has already the value of the PV panel width. And the start point, as we saw that the, the start point of the mountain rack is on the middle, should be half of the delta X. In this case, it's 0.723. As you can see, it has been inserted below this row and we see that the, it has been correctly inserted uh, 
beneath the, the PV panel row. Now I only have to copy to the other PV panel rows. And this is the result. If you like this video, share it. If you have any questions, put your comment below and we'll get back to you. Cheers!